Hi everyone, and welcome to Switzerland. We're going to be spending the next 24 hours in Zurich. For those of you that don't know, Zurich is one of the most expensive cities in the world. It is not cheap to stay here. I think we're almost 400 Canadian for a night. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, general spending, your food, etc., is also <laughs> quite expensive. Yeah. So we are headed off to the Lint Chocolate Museum, which is Switzerland's largest chocolate museum to start. And, and we'll see where the day takes us. Really excited about that one. <laughs> Might get to taste test some good chocolate yeah. there. finished up at the Lint Chocolate Museum. The chocolate fountain is crazy, it's massive. Mm -hmm. And the shop has every kind of Lint chocolate you can imagine. Yeah, they have so many different flavors. I went through, I could have done a lot of damage in there, but I went through and I just picked up some of the ones, like the individual chocolates that we don't have at home. So I got a little tiny bag here, but we got like blood orange, matcha, pistachio, cheesecake, Champagne was a really cool one too. Yeah. There's a couple others, but yeah, those are some of the really interesting ones. Yeah, they had some unique flavors, so. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll give one a quick out. try. Do you want to try one? Sure. Okay, pick one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. What's that, champagne? That's a champagne, yeah. Nice. There's a first hint of champagne. There's a hint of champagne. <laughs> but then I'm just tasting chocolate after. I got all the champagne. Oh, rude. <laughs> <laughs> If you're up at the Lint Factory, you can take a quick stroll down to Lake Zurich, which is completely free, and you get some incredible views of the Swiss Alps from here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the lake, obviously, also from Old Town, which is in the heart of Zurich. But if you come up a little bit further this way, the views are so much prettier. on a train back from Kilchberg to Old Town. It's about $10 per person mm -hmm. and we are in front of Grossmunster Church now which is free to enter. It's a Romanesque um, Protestant church and we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, it's $5 to enter up into the towers if you want to do that as well. Mm -hmm. But otherwise free to check the rest of it out. Yeah. it for our 24 hours in Switzerland. We got a bit of a late start to the day. We didn't really get out till about one or two in the afternoon. So we're kind of racing sunset and it came up really quickly. Mm -hmm. You could have a couple more hours and we could have done more things tonight, but we have a really early flight tomorrow morning. So we're going to bed fairly early tonight. Yeah, we just left Le Désolée for fondue. Mm -hmm. We're in Switzerland, so we had to get real Swiss fondue. It was expensive. Yeah, we expected it to be 30 uh, Swiss franc, which is so about 45 Canadian. Mm -hmm. And I think because we were split in it, they doubled the price of that. So <laughs> we walked out the door paying just over $100 Canadian. For fondue and water. <laughs> yeah. But so, it was worth it. It was phenomenal. And mm -hmm. I would definitely have it again. I would so. do it all over again. Um, just to prepare, if you do go that and you want to split you're not actually actually splitting it you're just paying yeah, double the amount exactly. which does happen we just didn't know that this was the case yeah this time but food was fantastic 
We are filled up on cheese. Oh yeah, ready for bed. <laughs> exactly. So stay tuned. We are heading out tomorrow for our next destination. Mm -hmm. We'll have that for you next week. Yeah. Should be pretty good. <laughs> and that's it for now. Bye. Thank you.